Hi there, it's Zephyr here. I'm here with a, another video today. Um, so this one I wanted to go into a little bit is um, actual um, classes. So the class window. Um, we did go through the very basics of the database, but we didn't really go uh, too much further in depth about what all the pages do. So today we're just going to touch on the classes window, which I feel like is one of the ones that is a little bit more important than, say, the actor window in some circumstances, but your mileage may vary. Um, what we're going to be looking at today is specifically how to set a class. So I've already set my own classes already. Um, we've got Manipulator. This is my balance class. We've got Trident Knight. Um, we've got an Assassin. Um, yeah, there's some other ones and then there's some default ones here. So here is where you're actually going to set the actor stats. So we've already made our actors before on a previous in, uh, video. Um, if you've not seen my actor one video, you can go and watch that one. Um, but in this video, we're just looking at classes and this is a bit of an extension of the actors themselves. So with the profession, they have stats tied to them. They have XP curves tied to them. You can make your game really grind if you wanted to increase that curve there just by just selecting that there you can change the xp values you can make it super grindy i don't recommend making a grindy game because um i feel like um grindy games are kind of one of those things that was when people didn't really have a lot of games to play but again mileage may, may vary you can set your hp here so you could give them 999 HP level one if you wanted to. Um, I'm not going to do that, but yeah, you can set a leveling curve there and um, you've got some preset um, graphs and things like that to play with um, if you want to, or you can use plugins to change how that works. Learnable skills. So um, this is where you select skills and um, the levels the characters learn them. So um, we've got like legend PS here. I'm actually gonna let's set some levels for these skills. We'll set break slash level two. We'll select level legend PS for level three. And yeah, you can just sort of update all the update all the, like the levels there of skills that are learned. Um, then we've got traits. Traits is a very in depth thing, and there's a lot going on here. So we've got um, some default perimeters like target rate, hit rate, evasion rate, critical rate. Um, I would honestly mostly just leave these parameters mostly alone here. Um, just And the reason for that is just so the character can hit. But if you want your character super inaccurate or super accurate, you could just right click hit rate here and you could change it to 200, make them super accurate. Or you could change it to 50% to make them um kind of less accurate um but that's an example there evasion rate critical rate you can adjust their critical rate all that kind of good stuff there target rate um that's just another one there so that is another tribute um right so that's a couple there Add skill type. So skill type is something that's in system and it will add particular skills for a certain skill type. So, for example, um, if I go to the skill window and I look for manipulators abilities here. So if we go to if we go to here, right? So we see miasma. Um, that is the skill that we were just referencing. Um, we can see that um there is uh, a corrupted weapon type um if we look at i believe it's break slash we can see that it's a blade weapon type so only someone with that blade weapon type can use it so that basically sort of filters the skills that that person can learn um equip weapon types so we have specific weapon types so i have big swords called claymores um, we have daggers. I'm actually going to remove daggers because this class does not equip daggers. Um, and then you can choose armors like general armor, light armor, small shield, etc. Um, skill type. Um, so we've got more than one skill type here. And then I added a specific attack skill. So if you want the character to have something replacing their attack skill, you can replace that. Um, but there's plenty of other traits that you can use as well. And I do want to just take a moment to go through this because this will be relevant for um, 
when you're trying to do some other things later on some other windows there is a little bit of crossover especially on the enemies there's a lot of crossover with traits on enemies too so element rate um sort of how much um how effective elemental damage is um and you can set your own elements you can have i don't know you could have um aeon element if you wanted to um as just an example debuff rate um so if you wanted them with a hp penalty you could do that and you can see where this starts being more relevant for enemies or, or states or skills maybe because um you can see some of these traits are, are a little bit interesting obviously you don't want your character dead most of the time um you could create resistances resistances would be really interesting for the classes you create so you could make a vampire who is natively resistant to um sort of vampirism uh or, or draining effects and things like that um that would be quite interesting we got the parameter tab so on parameter um we can increase stats like max hp um we can increase luck all that kind of stuff but then we can also we've got extra parameters so we've got critical rate evasion hit rate critical evasion so how likely someone is to evade a critical so you could make it so uh, a helmet that you equip or a character that commonly equips helmets is protected from critical hits, just like um, good old second edition Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know. Uh, magical evasion, magical reflection. Um, so if, if magic damage is reflected by maybe some kind of like mind creature or something. Um, Counterattack, HP regen, MP regen. So you can actually set regeneration, native regeneration. So if you've got like a werewolf or something, maybe they regenerate naturally or, or a troll or something. Um, then we've got SP parameter. So we've got things like target rate, guard effect, how effective guard is, recovery effect. So how good healing is. Pharmacology is a bit of a weird one because it is specifically to do with like potions and, and an item usage. So um, that one is for like someone who's more proficient in items. MP cross rate. So if someone gets a bonus with MP, TP charge, physical damage, magic damage. You can even do floor damage increases or reductions or, or anything like that. Maybe your character has bug legs for all I know. Maybe they're more susceptible to floor damage or maybe they're immune to floor damage because they have wings. They, they, they are not subject to those pitfalls. So that's quite interesting that is. And then you can also increase experience. Some of these are a little bit imbalanced, but obviously it gives you all that power just in, the, in this engine here. Um, you can also set a class specific attack element so you could make them attack with fire you can make them attack with uh physical you could make them attack with darkness that kind of stuff you can also give them a chance to inflict a state with their normal attacks as well so by doing a normal attack they could have a chance to blind a little bit op but that's something they could do attack speed is how quickly they attack so um it will add to their base agility stat so they could be a ninja or something and be natively faster in that cl this class attack times they could attack twice if they're uh, specifically quite quick and there's there's attack skill um some other things there you can also seal skills so you can make it so they couldn't learn particular skills or if they've had a skill before you can remove that um you can also add particular skills if you feel like that that would help them um you can seal skill type so i could seal the entire sort of cat a category of spells we could add a skill type then equipping weapon equip armor this is quite important to set something here because otherwise your character will be unable to equip anything. So make sure you select a category. Um, and equipping armor, you can select what armor they can equip, lock equipment, seal equipment, and then slot type. You can make them dual wield. So you don't have to have them have sword and shield. They could uh, possess two axes if you want to. Two axes sounds pretty cool. Um, and then there's on this last page here, we've got action times. Um, we also have special flags on here. So um, you could make them uncontrollable if they're a berserker. You could um, you could have preserve S uh, TP, substitute, that kind of stuff. You could have a special collapse effect if you want. You could make it do the old Final Fantasy VI um, boss collapse effect, which would be kind of cool. Um, or... You can just make them disappear 
or they disappear. I don't know. Maybe your class is a final boss or something. Again, some of these things are a little bit better for the enemy window. Um, but that's just another thing. I'll actually, we'll, we'll dubby, double whammy this video here today. So I've shown you a lot of the trait window and hopefully that helps you out there. But the only other thing I want to go over is on enemy, as you can see here, a lot of the same things apply. So when you're creating your enemy, um, you can use the same trait window. We'll go a little bit more into enemies next time. I feel like enemies is going to be just sort of a very kind of short thing and we'll probably include that in um, creating your first enemies and your first battles in the game because we haven't got to that yet and I feel like that's an intrinsic part of making an RPG. We've done pretty much everything um, uh, about making a game except for engaging in combat yet. So um, we'll, we'll do that in, in a little bit here. Um, but that's it for today. That's how to make your classes. In some time in the future, I will actually show you how to do uh, your own class changes, um, as well as sort of like transformations and other or other cool things like that. But for now, we'll kind of leave that as it is. Have a play with the classes window, and um, hopefully you learn something. So I'll see you next week. Hey guys, I do have a Discord now. It's called the RPG Maker uh, Creation Exchange. Um, we just talk about RPGs and all that kind of fun stuff. And if you want to send me any questions, uh, you can do so there. Um, love to see you if you do join. And uh, thank you very much for watching.